Hey guys, uh, Felipe here with another Team Talks for Omnia. Today I'm here with Catalin. He's one of our uh, senior full stack engineers on the team. How are you doing, Catalin? Hello, Felipe. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm very good here. And uh, I'm very glad to be uh, on another Omnia uh, Talks. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, glad to have you yeah. back, man. Um, so what what are we talking about today? What What's the, the main topic? Yeah, so basically today we will talk about uh, managing endpoints and okay. how how uh, we can manage them and see uh, all the details there. So nice. I, I can share my screen uh, if you if you want to. Nice, uh, nice for detail. sure, for sure. I would love to see the, those. How how can I can I manage those endpoints? For everyone, if you wanted to actually learn what's an endpoint and so on, just go back to some of our first episodes, and we do talk about endpoints and what is an endpoint and etc. So that way you can get a bit of more context. Uh, for those that watch that, I'll I'll make sure that you know. Catalina will give us a good uh, a good show right now. <laughs> so basically, uh, from uh, our main dashboard, uh, you just need to click uh, to the manage endpoints um, button, and cool. after that, uh, we will have here uh, our generated endpoints. Um, for the for the moment, I uh, generated some um, some endpoints. Um, uh, one of them it's uh, a freemium one and some of others are paid ones uh, just to uh, describe it better that's awesome actually uh, uh, tell me more yeah so uh, basically uh, in my endpoints page uh, we have okay. some general uh, details like this is uh, its name uh, we can see that uh, for example this one it's a binance mainnet uh, have an unlimited um, availability because uh, okay. it's an, a freemium one. Uh, and we can see that uh, we have a daily request of 100K and uh, 50 RPS. Uh, those badges are basically, um, are, are basically uh, showing us things like this one, it's a mainnet, uh, it's a main, okay. mainnet endpoint and uh, it's a free one. Uh, also, if we uh, if we go here on the second one, which is a Stripe paid uh, endpoint, we can see that um, the uh, active until it's uh, until this date, okay. and um, if um, um, if you pay um, a subscription for it, this uh, active until date will be changed every month after each um, payment succeeded. Um, also, we can see here uh, some attributes like for this endpoint, we have front running protection, we have a honeypot protection enabled, uh, also token approval, and uh, as uh, this one, we can see that it's a, it's a mainnet endpoint and it's paid. Um, and uh, because we, we talked a bit the details, uh, this is like a, a, a more, uh, let's say, uh, easy to easy to see and to use interface. But OK, that, that makes sense. Uh, um, can you show me some more details about the, those endpoints? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, let's say for the Stripe paid endpoint, the Ethereum mainnet, we just okay. click the show details. And uh, right here, uh, we have a more detailed uh, description. Like uh, we have this, uh, we have here the RPC HTTP uh, endpoint, and also the uh, web sockets endpoint. Um, also, in the right side, we can see uh, the uh, the things included, like enhanced privacy, advanced front running protection, MEV cacheback, and uh, and so on. Um, also for the um, for the things like smart guard basic or support level or uh, this one we have the um, this information um, and we, we can um, read more about it also we can um, add to metamask if we if we want to and go back to the uh, other endpoints menu awesome now, um, how do I manage, like, you know, you show me a bit of the details and, and that looks all great. How is that how I manage the, the subscription itself? Or is that in a different, in a different page? Uh, yeah, good, good question. Uh, it's in a different page uh, and it, 
it's just because um, we can, uh, we, right now we only support the managed sub subscription for the uh, Stripe paid uh, endpoints, just because okay. uh, we can create, uh, we, we can buy endpoints uh, with subscriptions only with Stripe. We also support crypto uh, payment, but only for one-time payments which means that uh, after you paid it, um, you just have the uh, period you selected. And after that period, the endpoint just become um, freemium. So uh, nothing to change there. But if you uh, have a subscription, like a monthly, a monthly paid uh, subscription, um, okay. you can go here and click manage subscription. Awesome. One second. No worries. Okay, and right here we can see our subscription, which is um, a subscri subscription of ten dollars per month. Uh, some details: um, the card we used. We can we can change it if uh, if we need it. Some billing information, and also we can generate the invoice from here if we need it. It's uh, it's okay. very simple. Also, uh, from here, we can cancel the, the subscription. Uh, the subscription will be, uh, of course, available until the uh, period uh, ends, like uh, you won't lose anything. But if you cancel the plan and you uh, change your mind, you can easily go back and re-enable uh, re it. Uh, in this period, it's no problem, it's easy. Okay, so um, I see that at the top there you have like shared endpoints. Uh, is that the endpoints that someone shared with me or that I can share with someone? What are, are, are those shared endpoints? Uh, yes, um, um, right here the, uh, the shared endpoints are basically the endpoints I shared with uh, one of my teams or okay. other teams that added me in, in their teams. Uh, shared with right. me, so so basically are uh, both of them, like uh, my endpoints and their endpoints. Uh, here okay. on the shared endpoints will be uh, all of them, uh, and we can see um, we already have a shared endpoint. Uh, we can see from which team, and all I right. can see yeah. also my uh, my team role in this uh, uh, on this endpoint. Also, if you have the the necessary rights, you can unshare it and. Uh, revert it to uh, my endpoints uh, as well so that seems uh, uh, pretty seamless pretty pretty easy to to get it done just a couple clicks and you know you're able to share because that's that's the the button right there right below the edge metamask right like share endpoint yes yes uh, uh, let's right. if you if you want to share this one just click on the share and select the theme and, uh, and then it gets just, it done yeah nice. and, and nice. will be done nice and that's awesome that's awesome yeah yeah, and Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you if you wanna uh, create a team, let's say uh, to have um, a team of your friends or colleagues, and you wanna share with them, just uh, create here a team, and you can easily add members, uh, edit uh, team members, and uh, show the endpoints. Like nice. adding a member, just add. Um, um, your friend or uh, teammate address and give him um, a role. Uh, you can easily see um, what uh, uh, what uh, about the uh, each role, and then um, the uh, this wallet address will will be um, sharing. You will be sharing with this one uh, your endpoints, and nice. the endpoints are basically shown right here. Awesome. So, Catalan, I appreciate you you diving deeper on those endpoints and everything else. Um, I think that was that was quite interesting for me to to learn as well, especially learning all the way from the beginning uh, about endpoints all the way to here. Um, so, when it comes to that, again, I appreciate your time. This is another team talks, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed uh, and stay tuned. Follow you know, or, or social channels on X, on LinkedIn and so on. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again. Thank you for having me, Felipe. Have a nice day and Anytime. stay tuned. Anytime. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye.